welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. So in today's video, I will be reviewing the new Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette and doing a holiday slash Thanksgiving makeup look. I'm really excited to share my thoughts and my opinion on this palette. So before we get started, just make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright guys, so before we get into the Tati Beauty palette, which I think has a different name when I open it, I will tell you the exact name. Um, and before we get into the look, I'm going to go ahead and use my headband just to get my hair out of the way. But alright, so let's open her up. I have taken a look, but I haven't swatched anything. So when you get it, the box comes like this, and then you have the packing slip. The palette actually came like completely wrapped in this, um, I want to say like thin cardboard, uh, almost like paper nesting. I'm not really sure, but it had a lot of it. And I think maybe she did it because it's like better for the environment. I'm not really sure. I've actually never gotten anything packaged in this. It's not bad. It's not good. The palette didn't break. So that's what matters. And it just has a little note in here from her that says, Beautiful is your story to tell. XO's Tati. Okay, and total I paid was $56.83. But I think the pal I think that's with like shipping and everything. I think the palette was $48. I am looking now. So the palette is $48. Um, it's the Textured Neutrals Volume 1. And right now you are able to pre-order for the new um, restock and with a guaranteed shipping by December 15th if you're looking to gift it um, for our holiday gift. So 48 plus shipping plus tax, all that good stuff. I wound up paying like $56, which isn't terrible for a palette. So it comes in a nice plastic wrap as well. It's very heavy duty. I will tell you that. It's, it's heavier than I thought it was going to be. Um, it almost feels like like the Huda ones are not the Huda. The Natasha Denona that are like refillable, but I do not believe these are like refillable. So it comes with a sleeve and it just says Tati Beauty on it. It is matte with like a gloss embellished name. Um, pressed powder palette, glitter metallic sequin matte. And it has all the ingredients and all that super fun stuff. Cruelty free, it's vegan, and it's distributed by Tati, Tati Beauty LLC. And bear with me if I'm sniffling a lot because <laughs> for some reason I think my allergies are acting up. So when you open it, it's just the matte um, cover and it has it almost in like a bronzy embossed Tati Beauty and has volume one. And then here has Tati Beauty Volume 1. So I'm assuming that she's going to have a lot more. And it's going to, you're going to be able to stack them, I'm sure, like a book. Or like this, Tati Beauty Volume 1. Um, I don't stack my palettes like this. I don't know a lot of people who do. So I wish that maybe she would have done it reverse so I could stack them like this. I think that would have been cuter. But not the point. So it comes protected. It comes with a hue. And it comes with a humongous mirror and then the palette itself she did say that eventually you would be able to just fold it over but I had no problem doing that right there so because she said at first it's her main goal was that it would come like this so you could kind of like use this for like mixing or whatever you needed to do but I was able to fold it over right away so you have a 24 pan palette it is called textured neutral so obviously they are going to be more of a neutral tone or neutral theme. You have a black, a brown, a orange to like a burnt orange, a taupe, a cream color, and then a cranberry slash maroon. So it is really pretty. You have matte sequin, which is like a matte with glitter reflex, metallic, and then pressed glitter which I feel like once you start using, it's probably gonna be just a little bit messy. So just be mindful of that. All right, so I think I'm gonna do, like I said in the intro, I'm looking to do more of a holiday festive look. So more on the orangey taupe brown side. Memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, 
and Poet. So I'm going to be using these three colors because I'm kind of doing like a Thanksgiving-y festive look. Um, I definitely feel like you could probably incorporate like Christmassy looks because of the gray stone colors you have here and the cranberries and all of the glitters could definitely intertwine and do like a holiday Christmas in that era festive look. But we're going to be focusing more on like Thanksgiving and fall because it is November. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in to begin the look. I have already obviously done my brows and laid down my concealer and setting powder. The first color I think I'm going to dig into is going to be this brown. I'm going to set it in the scent, um, in the crease and build it up a little bit. So I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star JS6 brush just to start the crease and I'll be going in with the dark brown matte which is ritual right here so immediately i am getting a little kick back in the pan but nothing crazy as long as you're not digging in there i think if you dig in you are gonna get that kickback that you don't want so i'm just going in lightly to my crease and a little above my crease oh so this is more definitely like a warm tone brown and i really really honestly i super like what she did with this palette. I like that she came with something that's very totty and also something that's very usable by an everyday consumer. So I will say that it is a bit patchy offhand. Um, nothing crazy. It could probably be built up. I want you guys to know that that it is coming off a little bit patchy. Okay, so I have laid down the um, matte brown and I will definitely say it is a bit patchy, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, it's something that I could definitely work with, but if you have dry eyelids like I do, I have dry skin like all over, I've mentioned that many times, it makes shadows like this a little difficult to work with because they kind of clings to my dry patches. So now I'm gonna go in with Story, which is that beautiful orange right here on a morphe 441 which again is another favorite and that one so it looks very pigmented but it definitely had a little more kickback in the pan so this will probably be a little bit messy of a palette so just to warn you on that so what i'm doing is i'm blending that right over that brown but also a little bit above. So I'm leaving right in the crease, the dark brown. Basically I'm doing the opposite of what I usually do just cause I wanna kinda change it up and um, just see if like the darks work. But I know that like, like this orange color is like really, really pigmented and it's blending pretty well where that dark brown wasn't. But the problem is with dark colors is we usually tend to use them last. So they wind up not showing whether it's patchy or not. So this one is turning out pretty nice. So I did um, bring it up, that orange up just a little bit more than I had hoped, but I am gonna go in with the lighter color which is aura instead of soothe so it is that cream color just to kind of lighten up here a little bit so see how it just kind of like smooths out that harshness for me and i just go along the whole eyebrow and blend out those harsh edges and i don't want to stick with just the matte so i am going to use probably a metallic or a glitter but as for the sequins ones, I think that they're really pretty. I just don't, I am not a fan of mattes with glitter. I'm gonna say that. Um, it's just not my favorite formula. So that row will probably more than likely not be touched by me. Let me know below if you guys like that. Like if that's a thing that you like to use, what do you use it for? I'm gonna go on with a blank one a blank one, a blank brush, and it's the Morphe um, M505, and just blend that brown with that orange. But back to the sequencing, um, yeah, just let me know below if you guys use it, what do you use it for? Do you use it as a matte? Do you use it like on the lid? How do you incorporate it into your look? Because I feel like it kind of is like such an in-between formula for me, 
where it's too matte to use on the lid unless I'm doing like an all matte look and then it's not glitter like glitter enough to use as like an accent so it kind of like throws me off a little I'm just a big fan of palettes that have like different textures and colors but they're usable colors so anyone can use it it's not really for more advanced people or not advanced people anybody could really use this palette and that's what I love I like the uniqueness of it where it like stays in one color range and just goes up in different textures that was one of the things that I was like oh my god I love that and now normally for me for a fall look I would literally just smoke out the lid and call it a day but I think I want to do something like way more you know what I mean I think I'm gonna go in with story that orange but I think I'm gonna go in with the sequins one. Let's see what it does here. I think it gives it a little jazz. See, it just doesn't, it doesn't give it enough reflex to where it's like, ooh, shimmer for me. So I probably could have done without that brow, honestly. That's the one negative I'm having right now is that it is sticking to my patches. So it's kind of making it patch off or look patchy. So I'm gonna go ahead real fast and I'll pull up my sleeves and I'm gonna swatch the sequins row just to kind of give you more of a look so they look very shimmery but when I put it on my eye this one did not look that shimmery so I'm gonna go ahead here and just swatch them across again they look reflective this one seems to be the most reflective this one, the one that I put on my eye, not so much. So I feel like the lighter it gets, the less of that reflection you're going to get. But that dark one, whoo, it is blinding with the reflex. All right, so the last three from the sequins area. So again, like these two are not very reflective, but this one does have some forms of reflex. So I think the lighter it is, the harder it is to see them. But that cranberry... I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is pretty reflective. So Memory and Poet are definitely my favorite in the sequence. And I feel like if I were to put that black on my lid, it would turn out really, really nice. All right. So here are the three. We have um, Memory, Ritual, Story. Very, very pretty. I like those a lot. And then I'll just swatch them right here. So this one comes, it definitely has like more of a blue reflect than it does black. Um, this bronze one I think is going to look really pretty with this look. And Story seems to be a bit lighter with some gold reflex. So Soothe, Aura, Poet. I love that cranberry color. We're going to just... So, oh, this one's pretty too. Oh, I love these. The last three are definitely my favorite in the metallics because, ooh, memory. We're going in again with memory, ritual, and story. These are beautiful. So, oh, I think I'm going to use one of those instead. Oh, they're so pretty. And they didn't make as much of a mess as I thought they would and they definitely transferred very nicely but again whenever you work with pressed glitter basically what it is it's literally what it says it's pressed glitter in a pan so just be careful don't dig into it make sure you have a nice adhesive on your lid or you're going to have a mucky mess and glitter everywhere so that's why I always do my face makeup after I do my lid and then we have Soothe, Aura, and Poet, which I love. I just love these. Oh. So these are going to definitely be some Christmassy, festive, like winter colors you can use. But these are so pretty. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to use. I think I'm going to put... Um, honestly, I think I'm going to go with a pressed glitter. I just want to because it's pretty. But I think what I'm going to put down first, I'm going to put down 
on here I'm trying to think like what color is gonna look the best against this look I think it's gonna be ritual I'm gonna put down a metallic and then put the glitter over it I mean I'm not gonna put down a metallic I lied I'm gonna put down a sequins to give it like a matte and then I'm gonna go over it <laughs> I have glitter everywhere um, I'm gonna go over it with the pressed glitter so I'm gonna take ritual and I'm gonna just line the lid so it has coverage all right so I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter primer this literally is very inexpensive but very amazing so the reason that I put the sequence formula there is just because it gave it some color underneath because the pressed glitter is going to cover it but it could be a little see-through so if I have that color and not just my eyelid it's probably gonna be better off all right so I'm gonna stick that on there and then I'm gonna go right in instead of doing this one so this does not dry and this is gonna be my Mac 239 packing brush and I'm going in with ritual glitter because I think that that color is beautiful so with pressed glitter obviously you are not going to brush this on in windshield wipey motions because you will make a glitter bomb mess on your face so you're just gonna lightly press onto whatever adhesive you put there I do suggest putting something I would not just go into your dry lid because the problem is it will stick but it will fade throughout the day. But this color, or this formula, look how she, oh, it shimmers and shines so beautifully. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with the glitters. It's probably like my favorite part of it now. And I thought it was gonna be like my least favorite because they don't do well with pressed glitter. So now that I have that placed, um, I'm gonna go in with a tiny blending brush and this is gonna be the M506 from Morphe. I'm gonna go back into that ritual color just lightly along that glitter line and kind of define it just a little bit. If you go too crazy, you're gonna wind up moving and shifting the glitter. So again, just ever so slightly put some definition to it. Ooh, I am loving it. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love the glitters. Okay, so I am going to hop off camera real quick, put my full face on, and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have put on all of my face stuff and my lip, I went with a nude color lip. This is Dose of Colors Knock on Wood. Alright, so I'm going to go in and do my under eye today with... I'm trying to think if I want to do it like orange or ritual, but I feel like I've put ritual all over my eye. Um, so I'm going to go in with Soothe, which was that taupe color, which was actually not a color that we used on the lid at all. And I will not be doing a pop of shimmer, obviously, because I'm doing glitter all over the eye. So I do love this taupe color. It is really, really pretty and kind of close to my skin to where it almost makes it just look like blended. I may have to put another color in there. I'm gonna go with Story, which is that one, but just a little. And just go right over that taupe. Because I feel like if I don't have color under my eye, it's just not like a complete look for me. I'm just not a fan. So like, even though sometimes I'm like, all right, I'm not going to go extra, I have to go extra. And I feel like the orange kind of completes it too. It just gives it such a Thanksgiving-y vibe, that orange is with the glitter. This is literally my new favorite press glitter. I think I might actually go with a brown lipstick. But first let me put my mascara on to complete the eyes because that color is what I'm going to be using. 
Alright, so I did go with the Kylie True Brown K because I couldn't find any of my other browns. I still haven't organized my lipstick from my, decl my declutter. They're just kind of thrown in there, so bear with me. But I'm going to go ahead and take this off because we are done. And I'm going to zoom you on out and give you my final thoughts. Alright guys, so time for my final thoughts on the Tati Beauty Volume 1 um, Texture textured neutrals volume one it's a mouthful um and slash my holiday thanksgiving slash fall look whatever you want to call it um i think that this palette is a perfect starter palette for anyone who wants to dip into makeup they want to have several different formulas to work with at one time i will say that that is a plus the price is right around what I thought it would be, $48, 24 shadows. It's a very, very hefty palette, so I think that the quality is amazing. The shadows are amazing. They are workable. Ritual, I had some issues, so if you have some dryness going on in your eyes, you might have the same issues where you run into kind of like a um, patchy issue where you have to just keep applying. The glitters were by far my absolute formula in this palette and then the metallics the reason I say the glitters because they did not give me such a mess that it was so hard to work with they went on with the glitter glue I had a little bit of fallout but girl press glitter you're crazy usually it's all over the freaking place now this will become a very messy palette because you do have so many other formulas the sequins one some of them are very pretty the other ones I could kind of do without but I think that it is such a unique idea how she went, instead of just throwing 24 random shades in here, she went, okay, here are the basic essential shades for like any look you wanna create. Everyday look, if you wanna use, I think that you're gonna, if you really get this palette, you're gonna use this palette, even if you use other palettes, because you have some taupes, you have creams, you have berries, black, who doesn't need black? But then not only do you have those basic colors that you really need in your collection, you have four different formulas of those colors. Now the only one I would say kind of shifts and isn't really always black is gonna be memory. So it's black, black, bluish black, and then kind of like a gray blue. So they're not always black on this one, but the other ones kind of stay true to the color that they are, um, except for Aura has a little more pink in it. So I think that for Thanksgiving, like holiday, Christmas, New Year's, this is gonna be a really good palette for you. If you haven't done your pre-order, I really suggest that you do. It's a really amazing palette. It works beautifully, it is beautiful. The mirror is amazing. It's heavy, like I feel like it's not cheaply made. When I open this palette, I'm just blown away and honestly when I saw it I'm so proud of her I'm so happy for her because she came out with something that's true to herself and isn't something like off the wall trendy so I really like when companies do that they don't always follow trend they kind of follow more true to who they are and I feel like Tati did that here I absolutely love these formulas so I would have to give it a big thumbs up like I really really love this palette and I think the shadows are beautiful and I can't wait to make a lot more looks for you guys with the glitters because they are my favorite formula I will have to say hands down my favorite glitters across the board so if you guys are getting this palette or you already have this palette comment below and let me know do you like it do you not like it pros and cons for you in buying it, not buying it, or why you bought it. I love it. I hope you guys love it if you get it. And if you do, just leave me a comment below and let me know that you got it. And I hope you guys make so many beautiful looks and tag me on Instagram so I can see the beautiful fall looks that you create. And as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.